family rescue. A dog and two kitty cats. She provided shelter for them in an apartment she rented. She worked as a cashier at a grocery store. Standing in one place for 40 hours per week. She thought about how she works at a grocery store. So she could afford to house and feed animals. And now she was having to ring a flash and secretions from murdered animals that people purchased. Every night, Emily shared a bed with her animal friends. And every morning, she gave them this speech. I wish I could stay home and spend the day with you. But unfortunately, the system won't let me. I have to go to work now to earn some money to pay for housing so we don't end up houseless. I have to go to work now to earn some money to pay for food so we do not start the death. I love you and I will see you in eight hours. Please take care of each other while I am at work. At her cashier job, Emily watched people buy flesh and secretions from animals. Hours passed by slowly, and Emily's legs got tired. But she knew if she sat, she would get fired. When business slowed a little, Emily got a chance to go to the bathroom. She sat and cried. Emily wished life was not so difficult. She wished she were on a vegan commune. Emily wished she had some vegan friends to live with and to love for all of her days. Emily wiped away her tears and went back to work. Suddenly she recognized someone she went to school with. I, I remember seeing you at school. I don't think we've ever officially met. I'm Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. I'm Emily. It's wonderful to meet you. Emily rang up Rebecca's groceries. Veggies, fruit, tofu, soy milk. Emily and Rebecca talked. And Emily found out Rebecca's vegan. Emily and Rebecca became great friends. They formed an animal rights group. I met many vegans. One day, Emily quit her job as a cashier. She and the animals left the rented apartment. And with their new friends, they started a vegan commune. They did outreach in town to change hearts and minds. They lived happily together with rescued animals. Emily was thrilled with her wonderful life. 